Okay, so with constipation, one tends to strain, and, and that is increasing pressure in your abdomen. When you increase pressure in the abdominal area called increased intra-abdominal pressure, what you're doing is, is your, that, that pressure is forcing your stomach to uh, contract and push up, your diaphragm to push up, and, and that is the beginning of acid reflux and hiatal hernia because the stomach should be lying, it's on the left side, comfortably below the diaphragm, but with that increased pressure and straining, you're pushing it up, and so that opening that where your esophagus should pass, pass through, the tube connecting your mouth to your stomach, it's supposed to pass through um, the diaphragm opening, but with that pressure, you're forcing the stomach up, 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 and now that opening is widening, and that's the definition of hiatal hernia. In addition to that pressure on the stomach, the contents of what's in your stomach, which is acid, that's going to get forced up, and that's the definition of acid reflux. And hiatal hernia and acid reflux are completely tied together. If you have acid reflux, the frequency that you would have hiatal hernia or the estimate is anywhere from 70 to 100%. So they're absolutely correlated.